Good morning and welcome back. We're gonna start this morning with a big old shelf here. And some huge pipes. I don't know if this is a platform of some sort. We have some morsels in the back from stuff that we've broken down because today is Friday. Beautiful day. <clears throat> so we'll be turning in our non ferrous We've got a boatload of extruded aluminum to turn in. I'm really curious to see what our poundage adds up to. But we're hoping to fill up this vehicle before it's all said and done. This is a long shelf. So, we're gonna put this in here. Come on, work with me here. We're gonna keep filling her up. See what we can find. Hopefully, we can fill her up before the root is done. All right, we're gonna check this guy out. I saw myself a ceiling fan box. <laughs> gotta see if there's anything in here. Gotta, gotta. It's just habitual. Ah, uh, and there's a nah, knot. It's empty. Didn't even leave any the wires, I don't think. Oh, it did leave me a couple wires. Thank you. What is this? Ice scraper. Who needs an ice scraper in Florida? It must be coming from a different area. Uh, ooh, it's tile. Someone done tore up a bunch of tile. Ooh, it is light out here today. We're taking whatever we can grab. I don't know, we're halfway through our route and this is just morsel number two. Yeesh. Hopefully it's not one of them days. I just need to find that one spot. That one spot can make our day. Just need to find it. Alright guys, what do you think? We taking this chair today? I don't know. The first second I take this chair, we'll find something yummy. We will take Mr. Dyson now. Uh, do we take it? Do we leave it? I think we're leaving it. It's just gonna mess me up. I can feel it. As soon as I put it in the car, I'm gonna find a pair of washer and dryer. And I'll be kicking myself. And I'll probably kick myself later saying, you should have picked it up, you had plenty of room. We didn't find anything good. I don't know. Hopefully something picks up here. Possible car parts. Possible car parts. The wind's picking up. Sorry if you can't hear me. And they are car parts, but they are not the kind of car parts we're looking for. This one might be. That's a little... A little something something. That is not. That is not. That is not. Oh, I got something. <laughs> so where do we start with, right? Man, where's all the scrap today? Hiya! Looks like we have some post-Christmas Christmas, baby. If we do. We're taking it. Because we need stuff. Yes, we do. I'm not going to take the box, though. We'll take the tree, though. It'll be a guard holder. She is a little tree. But hey. When you're scrounging, you're scrounging. I guess we're warming up. Morning, how are you today? 
You don't mind if I take this, do you? Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> Have a good day. Two pickups in one street. We're on fire. Make that three pickups in one street. Yoss. Now we're finding the scrap. Scrappy scrap all over the place. Hopefully we can keep this up. We are struggling. We got a cord on this one. This is one of the over the oh you heavy. This is over the stove kind. A lot of times they don't have the cords with them. Ugh. Oh. Oh, you didn't want to come? You're plastic anyways. You don't have to come. You can stay here with, with your boxes, friends. Oh, sorry, don't we have anything here. Do we, do we, do we? Got a big old TV box. Do we got the old TV in here? That's a negative. Got a little bit of wire down here though. We'll take the little bits of wire. Little bits of wire and such. Nothing to write home about. I'm gonna slide up there and hope those boxes up there have something in them. Whoa! Got stuck to me. It's something, that's for sure. This is a Mongo piece for today. Wow, it is so light out here. It's ridiculous, where's the honey hole at? I've seen quite a bit of wood. So people are pitching stuff. They're just not pitching stuff of the metal variety. I'm telling you, man, and if I could recycle toilets, I could have retired already. There's still tons of toilets out here. Okay, I saw one piece of metal over here. I thought it was gonna be all wood. I used to these gloves. It actually might be stainless steel too. Let's check these knobs. That's what it's come to today, folks. We're checking knobs. Plastic. Piece of metal there. Got some shoes, got some safety glasses. Look at all the plates. Some bows. A lot of bows. A couple security lights, maybe? Okay, that's gonna be it. Two safety lights in this. What I'm hoping stainless steel. This looks like a commercial lid. It might be stainless, but it's got a lot of rust on it, so maybe not. We'll have to take a magnet to her. See what she says. What do you think, guys? Stainless or not? I'm guessing not. It's an awful lot of... Uh, of course, my magnets are up front. Feeling pretty you guys stay over there. We'll put one of these back here. And <laughs> steel. Of the non-stainless variety. Not surprised. Too much rust for stainless steel. Alright, let's find us some stuff. Well, this is a first ourselves a keyboard oh gosh you're heavy too holy macaroni I didn't expect that to be heavy I did not expect that to be the heavy at all I thought I could just 
lift her up and throw her in. Okay, how are we sliding this in here? We'll come over here like this. Shink. Uh, you're gonna have to come over her. something big it doesn't look like metal but it intrigued me this is like an artist bag stuff man look at that hands pretty solid work uh, I don't need that though all right onward I'm not sure what this is it looks like a computer tore apart no it's paneling for chairs hug all right this is a pool hot tub. I have no idea whether it's got goodies in here or not. This looks like it could be something. But maybe not. You would think there would be a pumper. I think this should be something, right? Inflatable pool spa. I would think that in there let's see we are struggling today so we are going to check every chance we've got no idea what is in here my stuff. What do you think? Is this a something or not?
tell you this, this thing's well built. It does not want me to take it. I'm going to leave it. After all that work, I'm leaving it. Oy. We have worked hard for every morsel today. That is for sure. Oh, this piano is really awkward. But it's a something, so I'm not going to complain. Just trying to get stuff in here is not going to be easy. do it that way. I'm just hoping we find a couple more. We have uh, been slim, slim pickings. Hi Chihuahua. Got ourselves a pair of skateboards here. Dare me to try to ride it? Uh, not of any particular value. Those trucks will be metal. And this is actually, no, this is heavier than I thought it was going to be. We're going to take you two. Simply because it's been one of them days. And we're not going to, we're not going to be picky. You're not very heavy. And you'll take up way too much space. Are you going to pop apart easily though? No, you're not. So you can't even fit in there. We're going to put you up here. We can always get rid of you if we need to. But a pound is a pound is a pound, right? Let's carry on. Finally, finally found the honey hole. Morning. How are you today? You don't mind if I take any of this stuff, do you? Thank you. These? Oh, no, those are the Oh, the, the little tractor? Yeah, the little tractor works. It just needs to be put together. Okay. But yeah. Cool. Appreciate it. No More chainsaws. This is like my seventh chainsaw this week. That is crazy. Crazy, crazy. How do we put these in here? <laughs> We're just not, we're not packed very efficiently today. Hey, at least our guard's on the hand before it turned with truck. If that guy works, that means that there's batteries in it. Yes. Oh, we got a nice axe. not a crazy honey hole. I thought that was going to be a third, third chainsaw, but hey, we'll take her. That's crazy, look at the carriage. That's one heck of a vehicle. Oh, it's huge, too big. I'm going to have to get a manual. Walk 
of shame back for a manual screwdriver. I might speed this up for you guys. So I can walk really fast. <laughs> battery a couple of chainsaws not a total home run but in today's standards total home run let's plug along all righty guys we are weighed and paid and i am shocked to be honest with you i forgot why they slipped back at the house when i went to go pick up my uh, non-ferris but we ended up with 400 plus pounds of tin today for $30 and change. I was really kind of surprised that we had that much. So after the um, dirty aluminum and the battery and what other did I have? Oh, and some electric motors. We ended up with $44 and change at the first yard. So we were almost at that $50 mark that we're trying to shoot for each day. And then we ran home and picked up our non-ferrous. And we did well non-ferrous today especially seeing we had very little uh, number two copper. So we'll start off with yellow brass. Yellow brass was um, the uh, shower head that I picked up and have had in my garage for way too long. Uh, that one bed frame that I picked up that I took apart for clean and then we turned in all our plug-ins, all our fan knobbies, all our fan cords that are sometimes brass. That was all just sitting in a bucket threw together. 22 pounds of yellow brass for 39.60. That's paying a buck 80. So they're down a little bit, but again, the guy that's not uh, uh, normally at the window was not there. So it was just, uh, it used to be $2 a pound. So I don't know if brass has come down or whether it's just because they're going by the defaults in the system. We went back to sheet aluminum. Sheet aluminum was some gutters, was a table that I picked up in a dumpster uh, off film. Um, and some other odds and ends. Uh, we, again, we didn't have very many ceiling fans this week. That's where most of our sheet aluminum comes from. At the yard I go to, it's either sheet or extruded. There's no middle of the grounds. And if it's not clean at this particular yard, it's considered breakage and you only get 15 cents. So uh, I only drop off clean aluminum here, and this was the, of the sheet variety. 37 pounds for 1480. Number two copper, a whopping one pound. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> um, we had some uh, dirty brass. Dirty brass is paying a buck. So dirty brass um, is still at a buck. It was dirty brass a buck, uh, regular brass two bucks. So uh, Dirty Brass is still uh, a dollar. So uh, we had a whopping pound of that as well for a dollar. Um, we had some clean stainless steel, three pounds for a dollar 35. That was just 
some little odds and ends of when I find a stainless, I put them in a bucket and turn it in when I remember to. Number two, insulated copper wire, 54 pounds. Nice, nice score this week. We had a lot of quartz. And that had been caught all the Christmas uh, lights that we've turned in throughout the week as well. So that's 6210 and extruded aluminum, 41 pounds at 90 cents a pound, 3690. For our ground total today of 158.95, we add the 44 to that, and we're just over 200 bucks. So that's the number we're shooting for on Fridays. So we did it. We hit 200 plus. Pretty happy about that, especially seeing that our number two copper was just a whopping pound this week. So overall, uh, not too shabby. We do have one rim at the at the house, um, an aluminum rim. I'm trying to tire off of it because I can turn it in for seven bucks uh, as a tire, or I can get the tire off of it and they'll pay me 70 cents a pound and it ends up being that I turned in a similar rim to that. And it's like 17 bucks, 18 bucks. So for an extra $10, I'm willing to struggle with the tire for a little bit, but it's wearing on me quickly. So I might just turn it in for the $7. So we'll see, I'm gonna mess with this weekend and on Monday we'll either turn it in as a rim uh, for poundage or we'll turn it in with the tire slightly uh, damaged uh, from me trying to get it off and get our seven bucks just so it's gone. Um, and like I said, hopefully we're pulling the trailer on Monday. I think that we should be done. There's uh, really no reason we can't pull it. Even if it's not all pretty with the paint and all the things that I'd like to do, uh, the functional aspects of it are essentially done. I'm going to test the lights right now uh, when I get home just to make sure that we've got the connections right and everything turns when it's supposed to turn and, and blinks when it's supposed to blink. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, fanless today. So there is no other opportunity to provide that praise. Thumbs up, thumbs up. So do it. Uh, and uh, consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. We'd love to have you in here. Um, I try to do my best to uh, communicate with you uh, during my videos and uh, through the comments. Uh, and leave me a comment, I love it. Um, it's, it's a great way for uh, us to um, bounce things off each other. The other thing I want to do is I think this weekend I'm going to try doing uh, the post thing on the community. Uh, we have about, I don't know, seven, eight um, trailer names. I, I'm kind of uh, liking one versus the others. Um, just, uh, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but I, I definitely uh, in, le in leaning away, but I want to get some uh, input from you guys. So anybody that's given a suggestion, I'm going to throw it up there. Uh, if for some reason you gave me one and I missed it, holler at me and I'll see if I can add it. But I'm going to try to do one of those poll things where we can say, hey, which one do you like? And uh, it'll give us another opportunity to uh, talk with one another. So uh, remember, it's nacho stuff, but that does not mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So enjoy this beautiful weather. Enjoy the weekend. I, I talked to my mom, she just got back up to New York. She had a little bit of snow and I understand that Buffalo got buried, had a whole foot of snow. So if you're dealing with snow, I'm sorry. We're dealing with uh, 75 degree weather and it's beautiful out today. So I've got to deal with that. <laughs> Anyways, have a great weekend. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. It's greatly appreciated. And until the next time we meet, be safe, be happy, and I'll see you then.